when I came to the English language school of the University of Alberta, uh, I had one goal, uh, to do a master in mechanical engineering at the University of Alberta. So I started with EAP 135, and then I took EAP uh, 140, and finally EAP 550. And I took all these courses online. The experience was wonderful and really helpful helpful for me to improve my English. For example, in EAP 135, I learned how to uh, structure a paragraph uh, properly. And then in uh, EAP 140, how to structure an essay. And uh, during EAP 550, I learned uh, really useful uh, writing skills uh, that I will use during my graduate uh, studies. For me, this experience has been very rich and very helpful in order to uh, get ready for my future studies. Also, I had the opportunity to attend to the Student Engagement Center. That is a wonderful space to share and to get engaged with people from different nationalities, different cultures, and to learn about uh, uh, about them, about, about their countries, about their cultures. Something that I really appreciate from my EAP instructors is that uh, maybe at the beginning I was uh, really worried about making mistakes in front of other people because my English level was not good. And uh, so uh, I understood that it's okay to make mistakes. We are here to improve, we are here to learn, and of course we will make mistakes. And another big concern at the beginning was like, I wondered if I was going to be able to really improve my English in an online environment. And uh, the instructors have proven to, to be able to have the capacity to deliver these courses online. The online mode uh, have proven to be uh, effective in my case in the English language school. The EAP 550 course focuses mainly on improving uh, the academic writing skills of prospective graduate students. So we went through several topics such as plagiarism. It was really interesting to know how uh, the University of Alberta looks at plagiarism and many other kinds of academic misbehavior. And we also learned how to paraphrase, how to summarize, how to cite and quote properly and also the final poster presentation was especially useful. And now that I made this poster presentation uh, and I spoke uh, to the ELS uh, students and to the ELS in instructor about my work, I feel more confident I'm, and I feel ready for my future graduate students because now I know that I am able to speak in front of other with confidence. And that's an essential part for me uh, for my future graduate students.